Hello there, everybody. Welcome back. I'm here to be talking about Hell of a Boss Season 2, Episode 9, Apology Tour. Now, yes, this is going to be a spoiler video, so I just figured I'd get that out of the way now because there's a lot of juicy, interesting stuff to talk about in this episode, so let's get right into it. So, it takes place, I believe, the next day <laughs> after the last episode with that emotional confrontation between Stolas and Blitz, and Blitz is over at Stolas's trying to you know, talk to him and stuff, and, you know, just how he's talking about stuff, he has this, like, we know he has, like, this self-hatred of himself, and and thinks there's no possible way that Stolas actually cares for him and loves him for who he is and all that, and they're just going back and forth arguing, and what I really like about their argument and confrontation, which, for one, they're actually speaking about their feelings and talking, which is always good, but there's more, like, like stuff's being talked about like throughout this episode there's references and nods to previous episodes that we like like for example there's how Stolas is, is like realizing how horrible Blitz has been how hey when I was attacked by that striker which by the way he says that Blitz sounds an awful lot like striker which he doesn't like but low-key kind of true and he was saying how you never visit me in the hospital and you didn't even come to try to save me and you know blitz is like well i did the first time which apparently like a lot of people just assumed he told him about it but he never told stolas so he was shocked and blitz realized oh crap and so that whole sequence there i was like this is awesome we're finally like we're just they're just talking about stuff that's happened and i really like that instead of keeping stuff bottled in and just keeping your emotions in check it's like be real talk about what's going on and stuff so their whole confrontation and talking at the beginning was great which sets up the rest of the episode which is stolas was saying how do you ever feel remorse do you ever say sorry or like for what you've done to people and blitz to be petty and all it's like i you know he's basically gonna go on an apology tour which is the name of the episode and so it's a whole bunch of references and nods to people he screwed over in the past like the prime example is from the very first episode with you know mayberry who she hired to kill you know the marfa because of you know her cheating on mayberry's husband all that type of stuff and so blitz goes to apologize to them and you actually see these two <laughs> these two girls who hate each other and you know had each other like one got the other killed and like a whole bunch of stuff they're together apparently and i was like huh like I was like I, I was not expecting that I think I spit out my drink because it just came out of nowhere and I was like okay whatever that's interesting and it's a bunch of uh, like a montage of him going by different people that he screwed over he has like a whole list and stuff and it's hilarious but of course all that leads to the main part of the episode that's really like like big for you know Stolas and Blitz's character is the after party this party that Vraska hosts I guess every year about you know Hayden Blitz and stuff and all the people that he screwed over get to go and celebrate yeah Blitz sucks which by the way I've been a known Blitz hater for a good minute and every time I see a new episode I always regret that why Blitz is a great character video he <laughs> jokes aside he is a great character he's fascinating and, and he has problems but you've seen instances of him you know, getting better and being better, like, you know, his whole stuff with Fizzarali in, you know, the Oops episode and the Mammon episode, like, he's he's gotten better, but there's still a lot wrong with him, <laughs> and it's adamant here about, he realizes, like, throughout the whole sequence and stole his skin to sing that song, and Blitz just seeing it and realizing, you know, what he's done. It's, it's this truly great stuff. And it's just, for one, there's a lot of Blitz Hayden, which I'm so happy about because he's a horrible person. And I love seeing, you know, this type of stuff, you know, consequences to people's actions because it felt like for a long time, were we ever going to get that? Because he, he would just do awful stuff and just be disgusting and horrible to people. And we would never see any repercussions or anything for what he's done. And so these past two episodes here, I felt were really great because I think it's important for his character to go through this stuff to hopefully improve and grow and become better than how he is. I mean, he's he's done a bit better this season with, you know, like I said, how they've how he's mended the fences with Fizz and they seem to be good friends now. That's awesome. 
but there needs to be more here to fix you know the Stolitz relationship between him and Stolitz but obviously it's not going to get you know resolved as quickly as a lot of people in the fandom would like because everyone was thinking they would make up and be all lovey-dovey or whatever nonsense this episode and I'm like no they're gonna suffer they're gonna not be together for a bit I just know it and of course you see this one imp come out here and you know compliments Stolas and gives him you know like like good compliments and is nice to him and then it looks like you know near the end they hook up and stuff at least for the party being I don't know if it'll be a thing or not but seeing Blitz you know jealous and mad and stuff and by the way like he allowed it because Stolas even despite everything they were going through and how sad and what and everything he looked at Blitz for you know are you okay with this and Blitz you know allowed him to go so he at least did that which unlike Blitz you know slept with Chaz was making out with you know the Dennis loser at the Queen Bee party so unlike you could just tell how different they are in handling these type of situations where Stolas really cares and doesn't want to you know hurt Blitz that's why he looked at him for like the consent before he went with this guy to dance and Blitz didn't care and just did Blitz so that's that's the thing it's like it's really fascinating you see how different they handle these type of situations where we saw how Blitz handled this you know being sad and you know mad and everything with the Queen Bee episode and drinking away his problems we see Stolas here singing a sappy you know sad sad love type song and then you know it's, it's just really interesting how different they they take this type of stuff and of course with all the drama and crazy easter eggs and everything thrown in this episode you of course had again really solid animation i really enjoyed you know seeing the development of stolas and blitz i think this is really great for their future dynamic and you know i know i've heard their end game and stuff but like just seeing them go through this will be so much satisfying to see the payoff down the road it's really great and also i really like the songs like the stolas one i was i was like it's all right and same with the veronica one at the end like these songs are all right but they aren't songs i'm gonna want to re-listen to like you know the the two minutes notice from the fizz episode crooked from the <laughs> fizz episode the house of osmodius basically anything with fizz and or osmodius is god tier is what i'm trying to say but these are solid songs they were really enjoyable I love the references, the animation was great, the characterization of what happens is really solid. This all round was a really great episode. I've seen a lot of people say it's their favorite or one of their favorites. It's hard for me to say that, I might need to rewatch it a couple times, but it's definitely like, I've said I have not hated a single episode of this show. I will say some are way better than others, I will say that. But again, with all that said, those are my thoughts. On Hell of a Boss Season 2, Episode 9, Apology Tour. Again, what do you all think of my review? Please let me know down below in the comments. And what do you think of the episode? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Again, let me know. And if you want to hit the subscribe button as well to get notified of when I upload, that would mean so much to me. Again, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you later. Bye.